Hello my friends and welcome back to the channel and today we've got another 21 tips on how to play victim on Texas Chainsaw Massacre. However, what I want to say is that at least half of these tips are not mine, they are yours. These are the tips that you left in the comments on my previous video and there was so much good stuff that I just had to make another video with it. And stay till the end because the very last tip is the most important one. So let's just get started. So first, always have a bone shard on you. If a family member ordered their leather face, comes to attack you, you will then get into a grapple. If you win, they'll get stunned and you have a better chance to move away and hide. I have won even with Connie versus Johnny and that's without any extra strength points on my loadout. So this is totally possible and your best chance at escaping. However, don't do it if another member of the family is nearby. If that second member attacks you, then you're dead. If Leatherface stores the chainsaw, or if he finishes executing someone, or if one of you has just won a grapple, if you happen to have a bone shot, it is worth sneaking behind them, and as soon as their animation is finished, you just sneak attack them. That will keep them out of the fight for longer, and it will also buy you more time. To the valve strat, you open it, and then you go for another exit, whilst all the family members will hopefully gather around the valve exit. It might not work every time, but most of the time it does. If you're about to escape and some of your teammates are still trying to escape the family, stay by the open exit and go right to the edge of it. Then wait for grandpa to scream and move to get detected. That will most likely drive some family members to your location, giving your fellow victims a chance to use other escape routes. Unlock more than one basement door if you can, so that you and your teammates can have multiple exits and entries available. Plus, you get more points which counts towards your XP. Don't worry too much if you get detected by grandpa, you can always try and hide once your highlight is not showing anymore. Plus, it might help draw family members to you and buy your teammates some time. Hide behind doors in a chase. So if you're in a chase, you can hide behind doors once you're through them. As soon as a family member opens the door, you're gonna be hidden behind the door and then you can just double back and go through the door again. Unlock the exit gates before you disable the generator or the cab battery. That can be a lot more efficient because it's the one thing family members can't reset. Set. They can always reset the car battery or generator, but not the lock. Don't pick up heels at the start of the game. One, you won't need them yet. And two, currently there is a bug where if you have two items already and you search a toolbox, that unlock tool will replace one item you already have, but that item will not drop anywhere. You're gonna lose it. I lost a few healing bottles like that. However, it will still drop if it's a fuse or a valve. If you are in the basement and you see Sissy or Hitchhiker, it's time to get out. That kind of chase most of the time leads to death, as they can literally follow you everywhere. The best way to counter CC of Hitchhiker is to either get into a grapple with them and win, hide somewhere, or go through a well. If you keep running, you're most likely going to get killed. However, if you see Leatherface, Johnny or Cook in the basement, then you can probably loop them enough to buy your teammates time. And as long as Johnny or Cook don't track you, you might be able to escape as well. Switch off lights whenever you come across them. You won't believe how the shadows can hide you. Escape your restraints ASAP. Don't worry about the noise. It doesn't make that much of a difference at that point as family members are still in cutscene. Change your outfits depending on the time of the day. That can help you hide in plain sight from family members. If a killer has stopped moving and is facing the other way, it does not mean they cannot see you behind them. Remember, they are also in third person and they can turn the camera as well. After you stun the family member, they can still keep watching in which direction you went. Best thing to do then is to lose line of sight and then hide. Make sure you turn your mic on as communications can really save a game. If you're struggling to win as a victim and your mic is off or you don't have one, well, get one. Remove the noisemakers if you have a chance by using a bone shark. It can be a real lifesaver when you're in chase and you're trying to lose a family member. Plus, I'm pretty sure it awards you some XP. Jump the window. I know I said in my previous video, don't jump. But I've been seeing a lot of people jump as Connie or Julie and then they die instantly after family gets to them because they are incapacitated. It's a different ball game if you're Anna, of course. You can really soak up the damage and you can also force the family members into chasing you, giving your teammates a chance to flee. I've actually done this with Sony as well because I had spec into toughness and I had the perk stunt double equipped. So even though I took a lot of damage, I still managed to go down the well and heal a ton in the basement. Now this is the last tip, and this is probably the most important one of all. Don't play like some popular DVD streamers are playing. They are looping killers, which by the way is totally fine, I don't have a problem with that at all, and I, I try to do that myself if I can of course, because you're a victim trying to escape, but the bit that is not so cool is that at the end of the game, they are being extremely rude to their fellow victims, calling them names, calling them noobs, 
and the list goes on. There's a really big post on Reddit about it and it's just a bit cringe. So don't be those guys. You can play whichever play style you want, but being rude at the end game to new players or players who are just not as skilled as you is just toxic. And that's about it guys. Thank you so much for helping me out put this together. If you watched it until now, please consider subscribing and drop me a like. It is much appreciated. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time.